If you watch this video and follow the advice given, I guarantee you 6 months from the moment you're watching this video, your financial situation will change. Today we're going to learn 4 fail-proof businesses to start in 2023 by Apostle Joshua Selman. Stay tuned. NLT. It says, but divide your investments among many places, for you do not know what risks might light ahead. I hear the chains. I love the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Number one, land. Land. Everybody write it down. Land. Open bracket. Land and anything you can get under it, on it, and above it. It's all called land. You know it as real estate. Land. Together with anything under it, on it, and above it. Look at me. You are not rich if you do not own land. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Write it so that you don't forget. I don't care what else you have. You are poor if you do not own land. Because land is a fixed asset. It cannot be stolen. Even if a bomb falls on that land, it can only affect what is on it. You will not see a big hole suddenly looking at you. Land is one of the greatest communications of God's justice and mercy upon the inhabitants of the earth. I'll stop there. Land. Write this down. There is a, an equation for financial freedom. Financial freedom is equal to financial abundance plus time plus peace of mind. That you have money does not mean you are financially free. Financial freedom is equal to financial abundance, the availability of the resources plus time. There are people who have money but no time. No time to pray, no time to build, no time to spend a quality time with their children and their loved ones and their families. No time at all. They tell you no time. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. They started doing that when they were 20. Now they are 55. I'm busy. I'm busy. And then they die. Because on the seventh day, God rested. You, you are in the ninth day. You have not rested. You will die. Two, education. I'm giving you four fail-proof streams of income. Under education, write the following. Anything, whether speaking writing or setting up structures that transfer knowledge education is all about imparting knowledge the bible gives us a clue into becoming rich he said before the coming of christ knowledge shall increase there will be an unsearchable demand for knowledge that means anything you do that will transfer knowledge to people is a guaranteed source of wealth There's nothing to hide. There's no secret about it. There's no secret there in the first place. Education. Speaking. How many people rake in millions of dollars every week just because they are able to communicate? They are not just talking. They are transferring knowledge. Imagine that this was a business meeting and everybody is paying 100,000 for the seminar. Calculate. How many people? 100,000 times all the people we have including all those who are online and i'm doing the same thing i don't need to talk louder i don't need to shout more the exact same thing 10 years after i have preached this or i've said this or i've delivered this lecture i will still be getting paid from it education one of the cheapest aspect of education is writing the ability to document your persuasion for as long as you think there is something you want the world to hear, you can document it. The only problem is what many people call book writing is nonsense. They are just hungry people looking for money. So there is no excellence and no creativity. And at the end of it, only 100 copies are sold. And the bookstore tells you, please get out. But there is a key. Purpose-driven life. Right? Rick Warren, that one book brought tens and hundreds of millions of dollars it was so profound they had to create a workbook for it love and respect 
there are many books that have become bestsellers rediscovering the kingdom because individuals documented strong persuasions that rattled the ideologies of continents could there be a persuasion in your life right now that you need to birth and bring out you are sitting upon a gold mine and yet you are crying crying for food and crying for water the only limitation to your life should be the voice of God not lack of creativity it's God speaking to us education number three your job your job paid employment it's a stream of income so your job is not bad you can get a job at least you receive salary from it and the beautiful part of that is that your salary can solve your short-term needs because you know every month a fixed income is coming so it can give you room to focus on other things that will take time to build How many have I given? Let me tell you the reason why it's so easy to be rich in the 21st century. In the school of prosperity, especially in the 21st century, almost any and everything has a demand. There is a demand for almost any and everything. This is the reason why there should be no one here seated under the sound of my voice that in the next three years in the next five years should be poor impossible there is a demand for just any and everything the world is a global village there is a demand for just anything see right now even people's laugh has brought them millions somebody just laughs is it not your ringtone oh yes somebody just laughs around and does everything that side a does another one that side b you see that and you put it as your ringtone and you go and download it and you do a lot of things anything at all anything a lady because she has nice fingers will make millions because she will market the ring of a jewelry company they just keep putting rings on her hand for every ring hundred thousand dollars can you imagine just for having a nice finger there is a demand for anything so you have been playing with that your hand could it be that that's the rod of god uh let's stop at the last one transportation the only reason why oil and gas is useful is because there are human beings that need to move around we love oil and gas but we hate transportation how unwise i know that the resources are also used for a lot of things but did you know that for as long as there are human beings on earth there must be movement you studied something that was a clue to your prosperity but you forgot remember what we i think it was in biology social studies mr niger huh? biology mr niger movement as part of the quality of living things is that not true that was the key to your wealth that you have been neglecting every day immediately after koinonia now listen every week i don't know how okay i have an idea you cannot imagine how much is given to the transport companies that transport people without fail every week is that not true transportation if they were your bosses it would have been your money are you getting what I'm saying? How many people have had 300,000, 400,000, and then they used it to buy two phones? Foolish person. Whereas the phone is not bringing you anything. There are sometimes in that big phone, only 300 naira will be there. And you can't make any call. You cannot even browse. Whereas you would have been able to buy even if it was a small golf. These are the kinds of businesses that you don't even need to know how to drive right the the, the 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 driver that carries me around he started driving me three years ago and within that three years he has bought two extra cars two extra cars and i tell you a large percentage of that was for my money 
think about that they are always happy they, you never see them frowning they are smiling because every time he sees me he sees his destiny and for as long as I need his services I will keep paying for it how many of you are sitting on millions hundreds of thousands roaming around whereas or trying to get rooms and apartments to prove a point that does not have to be proved you want to show people now you live in a three bedroom flat that is empty with one small mattress in one of the rooms and people think you are a big boy you are not big you are small whereas something would have been bringing you income let me tell you something the transport sector is a mysterious sector people have never studied it's a sector that starts bringing you money instantly from the first day the car goes out by evening money is coming 5 a.m in the morning brothers and sisters there are people who get up begging whether it is town service whether it is wherever i know someone who bought kekena pep right he just bought one at the second year or something like that and then when he bought that kekena pep i think about 12 12 000 comes in every week Twelve thousand. he just went and registered it with the association national union those their union and then he's around praising the lord and giving tight every week and you are saying this guy is here t for no 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 do you have to be smart to do that not necessarily you just have to be poor. and that's why i told you there is no reason brothers and sisters for people to be poor what's wrong with five people coming together you all have 50 50 000 have a very well defined term you don't need to wait till you have one million what's wrong with three or four people coming together all of them having hundred thousand and you buy a golf in four five months you are broken even and you can buy another one and then buy another one while that is happening you are busy increasing your financial intelligence how much have you spent from january to this year to, to now some of you millions look at how many of our parents are sitting are sitting down and getting angry at people how many times did they pay them arrears of millions what did they do with it they went to a club and called friends and blew the money they blew one golf away in one night to prove that their arrears has arrived and yet we keep blaming god but tonight god is giving somebody intelligence you don't need to register any company you don't need to know anybody with an average car or an average golf at least three thousand is coming for you every day this is the minimum in seven days is twenty one thousand for doing nothing you don't need to go to school you don't need to know but there are many people sitting on you and when you see blessed people you think they are arrogant they are not they are not the income that comes to your hand is in direct proportion to the demand demand the transport sector there are many people dreaming i will go into oil and gas i will go into oil and gas how much do you know it takes to start oil and gas you want to be a thief can't you start gradually how many people are sitting on five million ten million that are waiting to buy oil blocks of billions you have eaten your own prosperity by yourself how many people have started popcorn popcorn inside abu is that not true popcorn i'll never forget years ago when one of i think that was in 2006 or 7 i wanted to start one popcorn machine popcorn business in new Bamadi, and i wanted somebody to manage for me so i needed to i sent him to go and do a research for me on everything i was surprised when the, the owner of the popcorn said he makes five thousand naira every day every day you are eating you bought it 30 naira but many just like you are paying for it and he said during orientation and uh, uh, what we call it graduation matric it can skyrocket to as much as 15,000 20,000 there is no single ice cream machine in Zaria not that all those ones that uh, they, they put the thing as if it's tough I'm talking of real a standard look at this there are many of you sitting down what's wrong with 10 people who come in with creativity about 250,000 will buy that thing and go and open up something i guarantee you in one month you will make your money back 
that's how desperate it is I'm, i like ice cream like what there's a place in abuja every time they see me they're happy because they, my money will finish there i can't make it so i must pay for it whatever you cannot do for yourself be sure to pay for it if you ever get it free someone paid for it who is god speaking to tonight i'm showing you streams i'm a student i'm young very soon you'll find out that the difference between you and graduation is one exam just one and you come out and say it's a lie if you say get out of here you are finished go 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 why should you be poor when there is such a demand it there are look let me tell you something if you have 20 20 of any of the things i mentioned there will still not be enough demand how many saloons are in Italy? there are about forty thousand students forty thousand students or more and about 60 percent of those people are ladies count the number of saloons you have in your campus are they up to 10 i doubt if they are up to 10 servicing at least 10 or twenty thousand people if you have one thousand more of those things it will still not be enough yet we criticize those who are producing because we have been we have been wired to consume that's all we do those who produce are the ones who are working. many of us are are going into food question if we don't buy the food why don't you get into businesses that do not need refrigeration and all of these things i, I don't know about you but i don't like things that give me heart attack you see that that's why i hate businesses that have to do with many people one person's fight with his wife will affect my diligence i don't like that i like to be responsible <laughs> i like to be responsible for my my diligence or otherwise i can't let another person's carelessness cancel everything i've done no if i do well let me be commended if i do bad that's why all those kind of things shipping vegetable from here to potter court i will get into those kind of things you can do that but no way so if the man is drunk on the way i suffer because of his drunkenness i don't like those kinds of business this is me personally you have been sitting on a gold mine wishing that things will change but god is speaking to you especially for those of us who are working you are earning your 50 50 thousand why don't you close your eyes and be determined that for the next six months you are going to save let me tell you something write it down never borrow money as much as possible or don't borrow money as much as much as possible this is a difficult thing i know i'm human trust me it's a very difficult thing but i want you to make a vow to deal with your life that as much as god grants you the grace you will never borrow money the borrower is slave to the lender say it after me Borrowing will put you in slavery forever. You can be addicted to borrowing. Borrowing is like drugs. Because it comes easy. When you borrow five naira, you will borrow 100,000. You will borrow five million. Until you find out that you are in debt of 500 million. And you cannot know where it came from because of borrowing. A borrower. Some of you as you are sitting down right now. Not just from anything. Maybe business failure or whatever your own personal debt that you are eating everything you are wearing and the room you are staying off key, you borrowed money for it you are smiling but there is a pile of debt that is growing and you are borrowing to keep servicing it you will be a slave forever it is one of the babylonian system that's why you notice i never talked about borrowing i'm sorry i know that this insults a lot of your business but i don't believe it in business we teach that there's good debt and there's bad debt you use good debt as a leverage you use bad debt for consumption no debt is the kingdom's way no debt say it shout it again thank you so much for watching don't forget to help your friends by sharing this video with them see you in my next video